Hi everyone, Amy here, and I have another masculine or gender neutral celebration card idea to share with you. I'm going to be using this mid-century square stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. I have a panel of A2 size cardstock. I have some ink pads from Catherine Pooler and my blending brushes. And here's a photo of the card that I'm going to be making for you today. It's very mid-century looking. Um, I tried to pick kind of retro colors, but I'm super jazzed about this stencil, you guys, because I just recently redid my living room with a mid-century modern theme. Um, we needed to get some new couches and I got these super cool, um, retro mid-century modern looking couches. I had them um, made by a company that makes them in the U.S. and it was really super cool and um, it really helped me kind of change the style in my living room. So I'm really excited with how it turned out. But anyway, this stencil kind of reminds me of um, kind of the direction I was going with my decorating in my house. So I was really um, jazzed to play with this. But I also thought this would make a really good um, gender, gender neutral or a masculine sort of card. Um, and you can see here, I'm just using some post-it tape to mask off each row here. Um, there's four rows and I have it kind of kicked off to the side. So there's some white space left on the panel, but you can see it's very easy to just kind of mask off each row. Um, you could probably even mask off each square if you wanted to, um, but I didn't want to get that extreme. I'm not I'm not that Laura Basson. <laughs> Bless her. I love her designs. Her stuff is brilliant. Anyway, um, I'm just doing these four different rows and I picked these kind of like retro looking colors. Um, this is the Paradise Found collection. Um, and it's part of the Spock collection at Catherine Pooler. So they're kind of more muted, not quite as in your face, but I thought these kind of um, olivey or limey sort of greens and yellows and oranges really fit the design of this really cool stencil. So just working my way through with my blending brushes, um, just ink blending this nice, nice, rich, saturated color onto this card panel. And I'm nearly done here. I'm just going to do the final row here. And then I will end up attaching um, this panel onto a card base um, and it will be a 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White, um, but I do decide to um, die cut it down first. So I'll show you that here in just a moment, but I'm going to remove the post-it tape and do the big reveal here. I'm trying to figure out other ways that I can maybe use this to, I don't know, design certain elements for my living room because it's just such a cool look. But here's the dies that I use to cut down the panel. So it makes it smaller than A2 size, gives it a nice little white border, and it has that nice uh, finished stitched edge. These are paper rose stitched edge rectangle dies. So I'm just going to use some of that same post-it tape. Um, it's a low tack tape and hold it down, run it through my die cutting machine off screen, and you can see that nice finished edge. I'll just use some tape runner here to attach it directly to this card base. Um, and like I said, it will have a nice little white border. If you don't like that much white, you could absolutely decorate around the edges, um, maybe with some ink blending or something else. But I tend to keep it pretty clean and simple, and I like quite a bit of white space. So just lining this up here, attaching it down, making sure it's straight with the same um, amount of edge around each side. And here I'm shopping my sentiment book. Now this is how I batch or mass produce cards. I have a lot of this stuff ready to go in advance. And these are baseball pocket, uh, or baseball card pockets. It's like little protector sheets. So I keep those in a binder with all of these little um, options to go to here. And I'm just kind of deciding what I want to go with. I know I want to do uh, gold because it kind of fits the color profile and I end up choosing this little parte die cut but a girl's got to know all her options so I'm kind of flipping through this one might have looked cool too this gold embossed celebrate um, so this is what I ended up going with I just used some liquid glue to attach it down in the lower right corner so pretty simple came together in a snap and again another really easy way to make a gender neutral or a masculine card so I hope you enjoyed it seriously though if you have any ideas on how I can use that stencil to decorate something for my living room let me know in the comments I'd love to hear your ideas so thanks so much for watching I'll check you next time bye